Hello and welcome back to another video in the introduction to DevOps course. In this video, we'll be exploring the differences and similarities between DevOps and other IT roles. As we've learned in previous videos, DevOps is a set of principles and practices that focuses on collaboration, communication and automation between development and operations teams. But how does DevOps compare to other IT roles? Let's find out. First, let's look at system administrators or sysadmins. System administrators, commonly referred to as sysadmins, are responsible for managing and maintaining an organization's computer systems, networks, and servers. They perform a variety of tasks, such as installing and configuring software and hardware, maintaining system security, troubleshooting issues, and ensuring system backups are in place. Sysadmins work to ensure that the system and infrastructure of an organization are running smoothly and efficiently. While sysadmins are an essential part of IT teams, their role focuses more on the technical aspects of system maintenance and management. On the other hand, DevOps emphasizes automation, collaboration and integration between development and operations teams to enable faster and more reliable delivery of software products. DevOps practitioners focuses more on automating repetitive tasks and reduce the likelihood of human error. They also collaborate to ensure that the code is continuously integrated and tested, making it easier to deploy and maintain applications. Most sysadmins are now naturally transiting into DevOps, since DevOps has now included everything that systems administrators do and more. Next up is software development. Software development is the process of designing, creating, and maintaining software applications. This process involves a wide range of tasks, including requirements gathering, design, coding, testing, and deployment. Software developers are responsible for writing and maintaining the code that makes up these applications. They do not handle the deployment of the code. DevOps practitioners, on the other hand, focus on the entire software development life cycle including the development, deployment, and operation of software applications. They work closely with software developers to ensure that the code is integrated and tested continuously, making it easier to deploy and maintain. One of the key principles of DevOps is continuous integration, CI, which is the practice of frequently integrating changes made by developers into a central repository. This ensures that the code base is always up to date and that conflicts are identified and resolved quickly. Continuous integration is made possible by the use of automated testing tools and processes that allow DevOps practitioners to identify issues early in the software development process. Another key principle of DevOps is continuous delivery CD which is the practice of automating the software release process so that new features and updates can be deployed quickly and reliably. This involves automating the build, testing and deployment of software applications, making it possible to release new features and updates to customers in a matter of hours or even minutes. In addition to continuous integration and delivery, DevOps also emphasizes the importance of collaboration between developers and operations teams. DevOps practitioners work closely with developers to ensure that code changes are made in a way that is consistent with the overall software architecture and goals of the business. Product managers are responsible for determining what features and functionality should be included in a product. DevOps work closely with product managers to ensure that they have a thorough understanding of the product vision and can ensure that the product is built and delivered as efficiently as possible. Project managers, on the other hand, are responsible for planning and executing projects. DevOps work alongside project managers to ensure that projects are completed on time and within budget. They also collaborate to ensure that the software development lifecycle is properly integrated into project management processes. 
Business analysts are responsible for analyzing business processes and systems to identify areas for improvement. DevOps work closely with business analysts to ensure that they understand the needs of the business and can incorporate those needs into the software development process. Finally, let's take a look at software testing. Software testers are responsible for ensuring that applications are functioning correctly and meeting user requirements. Software testing is the process of evaluating a software application or system to identify defects, errors, or bugs. Software testers test software applications to ensure that they are user-friendly, meet functional and non-functional requirements, and that they are secure and reliable. In traditional software development methodologies, software testing is often carried out as a separate and distinct activity that takes place after development is complete. However, in DevOps, testing is an integral part of the software development process and is integrated throughout the entire software development lifecycle. DevOps emphasizes the importance of automated testing, which allows tests to be carried out more efficiently and reliably than manual testing. Automated testing involves the use of specialized software tools that can run a suite of tests on the application or system automatically. This makes it possible to detect and fix defects early in the software development process, which can save time and reduce the cost of fixing defects later in the development cycle. DevOps practitioners also work closely with software testers to ensure that tests are integrated into the development process. This involves identifying the types of tests that are required, creating test cases and ensuring that tests are run as part of the continuous integration and delivery pipeline. This helps to ensure that software applications are thoroughly tested and that defects are identified and resolved quickly. In conclusion, while DevOps includes some of the responsibilities of traditional IT roles such as sysadmins, software development, project management, business analysis, and software testing, focuses on collaboration, communication, and automation to streamline the software development life cycle. By working together, these roles ensure that software is built and delivered more efficiently than ever before. As always, I hope you found this comparison helpful in understanding how DevOps fits into the larger picture of IT roles. See you in the next video.